everyone, Ruth George with Ruth P. George Law, PLLC, here again today with Kirsten. Hi. This video, as with any video I put out, is for educational purposes only. It does not establish an attorney-client relationship. But Kirsten has another story for us in regard to estate planning. Take it away. So you've already heard about the one that um, could have gone really bad. So here's a example of what can, what, how you can do it right. And this is from my own family, um, this experience. My mom and my dad always had had their wills in order, and uh, they were each other's beneficiary in hundred uh, percent. When my dad died, everything was really easy. It all went to my mother. But then all the contingencies that my mother had in her will um, for when she died, they, that would have covered us. But after a couple of years, I started thinking like, maybe we should update your will, Mama, to, you know, because she talked about that she wanted to have her grandchildren inherit something. And the spouses of both my brother and I, you know, what would happen if one of us died? So we went to the lawyer, my mother and I, and um, we talked about the will. And also because her um, executor was my father and he was already dead. So that didn't make any sense. So we were going to make me the executor since I lived right near her and still do. And... Um, at, so we, we did the preliminaries, and then my brother came in to town for a holiday. And so the three of us went to meet with the lawyer with a draft of the document, and we tweaked it and discussed things. So that my brother and I were, were talking about this with my mother, with the lawyer. That's not for everybody, of course, but we communicated. We were listening to each other. We were thinking about my situation as the uh, executor, um, my mom's, uh, you know, how long would she live, you know, things like that. My brother is the one who has the two kids, the grandkids. So we all communicated and we also looked at the contingency of what if I died and would everything go to my brother and his kids? Would my husband get anything and vice versa? If my brother died, would everything go to his kids and me or would his wife get something? And so we worked that to everybody's satisfaction um, and so that is the example of a family that worked together mm -hmm. um, on a will because even though it's my mom's decisions she's got two kids she's got two grandkids having us know what's involved before she dies is a whole lot better than oh here's the reading of will here's all the shocking things that you see in the movies right and like you said, maybe it's not for everybody, but your family felt comfortable talking and including each other because you know it will affect each yeah. other. And you're very open to yeah. having communication now and feel comfortable right. about the plan. So it's you know a great way to go if you can have that kind of open communication. And it's so important to know that you are not just thinking of assets, but you're thinking about people. Yeah. And people want to keep their relationships intact and to do that you know it's most beneficial for the planning to be open and to yeah, yeah. communicate that and have the clarity for everybody involved i had a situation where there was an estate proceeding and apparently the individual who passed he was working with another estate planning attorney and just could not come to terms with what he wanted to do there was you know this person lived in the house, this person didn't, this person's wealthy, this person isn't, there were only two kids. Ultimately, mm. he really couldn't decide yeah. what to do. He passed, and it was an outright nightmare yeah. from the get-go. The two just fought. They distrusted each other. They said, well, mm. you know, he didn't want this, he didn't want that. Well, I know he wanted this. He told me he wanted that, and it was a fight. From the beginning to the end, it was one of the most unpleasant experiences. Yeah. And there it was. It was something that could have been so different. It was one parent with two children, but an outright terrible experience. Wouldn't it be great if he had made a decision on his will? A lot could have been or, different. Or brought the two kids in together and talk about this is what what do we all need? I mean, why yeah. does it have to be uh, autocratically decided? 
yeah, there's so much to be said as far as planning early enough so that you can try and wrap your head around things and talk to people and bring in other help if needed. Um, and it's also not just the will, right? It brings up this idea of having other documents in place, power of mm -hmm. attorney, healthcare proxy, whatever else you may need, and making sure that you have all your ducks in a row. But my gosh, what a great example, Kirsten. Yeah. Thank you so much. So there was some kind of thing that you, disclaimer that you need to say? Yes. This video is for educational purposes only. It does not establish an attorney-client relationship, but Kirsten has been uh, so wonderful in sharing her experience, and I do hope it helps you. And tell them how you can get in how they can get in touch with you. <laughs> All right, so you can get in touch with me through my email, which is Ruth at Ruth P as in Pamela George Law dot com. R U T H at R U T H P as in Pamela G E O R G E L A W dot com. You're so fabulous, Kirsten. Thank you. Thank you.